So I just want people to know that they're just two normal kids. They are in this, an unusual circumstance and just treat them normal. They like to be treated like any other kids because they are. Callie and Carter Torres are twin girls. They are six years old. They love to play and they love school. What makes them so unique and special is that they are conjoined. Their devoted mom and dad work to raise awareness and acceptance for their little girls, and it's working. Maggie O'Mara spent a day with the Torres family to meet Callie and Carter, and as you're about to see, they are two sweet girls with their very own personalities. In the sleepy small town of Blackfoot, Idaho, In this house, on your typical street, you'll find a very special set of twin girls. Are you guys best friends? Yeah, but some probably not best friends. They're just like any other twins. They argue, they fight, they love each other. Callie and Carter Torres are six years old. They started kindergarten this year, a huge milestone. And they have a lot of friends. How's school? How do you like school? Good. We really like school a lot. What's the best part about school? Um, lunch. Lunch, is that the best part? Yeah. What makes these little girls so unique is that they are conjoined twins. They're in school, they go to physical therapy, they do normal activities, they ride bikes. Even though Callie and Carter are two individuals put together, you have to remember that they are individual children. When mom, Chelsea Torres, had her first ultrasound in 2016. It was just a really big shock to us. When we found out we had conjoined twins, I was devastated. But Chelsea knew she wanted to give birth to her daughters. She wanted to give them every chance at life. Yes, I definitely wanted to keep the babies. I knew at the very beginning I wanted to keep them. The family was sent to Texas Children's Hospital for the rest of her pregnancy and delivery. The plan was... Birth separation, staying in Texas for a few years, and um, just getting them healthy and ready to come home. Callie and Carter were born via C-section on January 30th, 2017. They brought them to me, and they cuddled them up to me, and then they took them away, and my husband went with them. And I told them, go, go with them, be with them, be, you know, I'll be, I'll be okay. The girls were strong, and they thrived in the hospital in the days after their birth. Just stayed with them the whole time, and they were just, just little cute babies. They were just Callie and Carter. <laughs> the twins went through extensive testing in Texas to see how their tiny bodies worked together. And they said, nothing's wrong with them. They're perfect. They're healthy. Take them home. Treat them like normal kids. So that's what we did. The Torres has quickly learned separation of the girls would be life altering and life threatening. The chance of death for one or both babies was just too high. If they were to separate, they would have probably ostomy bags, colonoscopy bags, um, medications that they would have to take and all this other uh, medical complex stuff that they don't have to deal with right now. So Callie and Carter's anatomy is like two waves that crash together. So their top part is themselves. They have two separate stomachs. Um, where everything starts to get jumbled is in the intestines. And then it comes to kind of one intestine, like the one bottom half. The girls are now working on walking together. How they walk is um, Callie controls the leg under her, Carter controls the leg under her. It takes a lot of teamwork. Yes, a lot of teamwork for them to do that. That is amazing, girls. Their nine-year-old brother, Jason, loves to give them piggyback rides and is one of their biggest fans. Say hi to the camera. Hi, Say hi, hi. girls. Hi, girls. Hi. <laughs> they're both special to me. Um, they're both funny. They both love each other. I love them both. They play with each other. Uh, they're special. I see them as like just two individuals. They're just like anybody else. Here in Blackfoot, there are the occasional stairs, but these kindergartners are well known. When they say, oh look, it's, you know, Callie and Carter. They say hello, they kind of know them from the news. Thanks to social media, the twins have fans all over the country. So I made a page 
uh, beating the odds with Callie and Carter on Facebook and I decided hey this is what I was going to do to find people who had conjoined twins and I did I found groups I found people people have got in touch with me you know, a lot of support I needed a lot of support Chelsea posts about the girls often and their followers love to watch them grow and comment on their photos pretty positive comments about them like hey you know they're doing awesome um, I can't believe they're walking mom says the insensitive or hurtful comments can sting but the majority of the twins followers are kind it's easy to see why Callie and Carter are so lovable oh my gosh girls you are so sweet to hold you guys are precious Chelsea says one day the girls may want to be separated she's leaving that major decision to them We'll definitely try. If they decided, hey, we want to try to get separated, I said, okay, you're going to listen to what the doctors say. You're going to understand the odds. But if you want to go through with it and do it, then I'll support it. I know it's not my choice to make, I don't feel. I don't feel like it's my choice to make for them. They're not broken to me. For now, these precious girls will grow up together here in Idaho, raising awareness for other conjoined twins around the country. Are you a good team together? Yeah. Callie and Carter are beating the odds, and they are our seven zeros. For more information on Callie and Carter and to follow them on social media, go to this story on KTVB.com. They also have a wish list there if you'd like to send the girls something special. They love to get packages.